Good evening, good evening! Woo! It's not morning. <laughs> Hello, MGL. It is good to see you in the evening stream. You're right. Uh, no crew yet, no. People have still got to drop in. Maybe they're not aware because we're not usually doing an evening stream, but I think this should be the norm because after this morning's stream, I was able to uh, get an episode done at least, and I managed to fix my keyboard, which was amazing. It's right in front of me now and it looks all brand new. It's all clean and brand new. So maybe the washing water did it good. Right. Some cozy room world. It looks like... I don't know if our screen's out of whack. It could be though. Oof. A little bit of volume action there in my ears. Right. Just a couple more things to do on the side here and I'll be with you momentarily. I hope you're well though. How was your day at work? Hey, okay. one sec. You have removed the biohazard. Are you talking about me? Or you removed the biohazard? Took the day off mostly, did you? Yeah, fair enough, why not? What is it? Wednesday, Wednesday hump day. I now I need to see if this screen's working correctly. Hello, good evening. Uh, it looks like our screen is set properly. I had to go in and do a little command code in Steam. Uh, in the advanced settings to get to, to get it into borderless window. Oh yeah, I, I, I did remove the biohazard. The biohazard, funnily enough, was just this, which is like soda stream. It's just bubbly water, busy water. Um, it wasn't a lot, but it was enough to concern me that it, I thought it went down into the circuit board. Anyway, 48 hours of drying and cleaning and blowing it out. It's all good. Oh, it's all brand new. It's hard to show you because of the cord's there, but... It's all good to go again. I'm no longer on the $12 dunger. Right. What's going on with this music? We could have some music in the background, but I'm pretty sure... Um... Oh, i fix that please, like that. I'm pretty sure RimWorld has music in it. Let's just check. Music volume, we can turn that up a little bit. I don't know, it shouldn't be, um... 
I shouldn't get done for the music on this. I don't think it's protected. Maybe we'll just put it there in case. All right. Well, I hope we get some more people drop in soon, but we can kick off anyway, MGL. Um, let's go. Close that. Now, disclaimer to everyone, I'm doing everything on vanilla to start with. I'm not using the new DLCs and stuff you can get. I own this deal, the royalty one. I don't own the ideology one, but I'll get that eventually. But for this first playthrough, we're going to do everything bulk standard. Just to get, I know a little bit about it. I don't know everything so I'm excited to get into it so we're gonna go new colony we're gonna go crash land we're just gonna go pretty much what it recommends start off with the staple okay you can see them here whatever okay <laughs> we're gonna go you can go storyteller Cassandra classic with a lot of these options here we'll get to that in a sec you can go Phoebe chillax which would probably be really easy Phoebe gives lots of time between disasters to build your colony but beware, at high difficulties, she hits as hard as anyone, okay? Or there's Randy Random. We're just going to go um, Cassandra Classic. But we are only going to go Adventure Story. Now, I've started to have a go at Adventure Story by myself. And you still get... For me, I'm still under the pressure a little bit when I'm doing this. So, I think this will be the best option for us for our first playthrough. Alright, and then we want to reload any time mode, yes. Uh, otherwise, I probably would have gone Strive to Survive, which is the general, it is the staple, it's the standard game mode for this. We're going to go to Adventure Story. Okay. Recommended for st strategy gamers on their first game of RimWorld. Next. Uh, now, with these things, <laughs> Lubricants the Seed. If you want to play along at home, MGL... Give me a seed. Give me just, just say something. Just give me anything. This will be up to you. We could even go MGL. I'll give you a sec. <laughs> uh, we're going to leave global coverage at 30% because that's the standard. You can make, that's just the coverage on the planet. You can make it bigger. I don't, we're just going to leave it what it is. We're going to leave all this how it is, standard, with this first playthrough. Um, don't. You want to go with the seed, don't. Do you want the exclamation mark in it as well? Don't. I don't know if, uh, if that'll work like that. Let's just go with don't generate okay and then that'll start generating the world this will be exciting all right so this is our world if we had a, a bumped up the percentages it would have covered more of this globe but this is our 30 percent coverage so we've got uh, the snowy areas we've got uh, like temperate forests desert I think that's like boral forest and tundra and stuff oceans we're gonna go I want something with mixed sort of uh, mountains in it and maybe a little bit of a river. Now, all these uh, other factions and stuff that are around the place. The Gora Kinship. Hostile. Minus 100. Ugh. Okay, we want to avoid them. Minus 80 hostility. Okay, well, they're neutral. The Trogo Alliance. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm thinking... Money, guns, and lawyers. Oh... <laughs> we can go back and redo the seed if you want. <laughs> maybe we can call... Maybe we can call our faction name Money, Guns and Lawyers. <laughs> uh, okay, where do we want to go? Are these like... What are these? The cannon beasts. They sound quite uh, ominous. Right, we've got to pick a place to live. I'm thinking we want sort of mid-range. So it's not too hot, not too cold all the time around. For our first run. I want some water. Something nice. Near a road. These guys are neutral. We could go near them. And something like in the mountain. Okay, difficult movement difficulty four. I'm okay with that. Mountainous. And with some water through it. Not too far from a road. This one could be quite good. This one here could probably be better. 
Yeah, okay, let's go here. Okay. Sure, what's our temperature? Get some minus 13C and to 26. Hmm, maybe can we go a little bit warmer? Let's try like it. Oh, this is near road too. This is, could not be bad. Okay, 5C to 31C. That's basically temperatures where I live. Uh, that looks pretty good. Near road, river, and mountain. Let's go that one. That one looks good. Okay, next. There's all lots of advanced options and stuff we can get into later. For the, Like I said, for the first run, we're not going to. Now, we get to pick three people to take with us to start out. Now, they are crash landing. But we do get to sort of pick our first three characters. Uh, they all come with health. Some come with health issues. Some come with incapable of doing issues and traits and stuff. And then this is what we want to kind of look for. The flames mean that the people, like, they have a really high interest in that. So he's got a really big interest in animals and animal husbandry and artisti artistic and shooting and melee, okay? And down here you can see a group, what our team skills are. We kind of want to get a good mix of everything. He's 37 and he's got, uh, he's got a wooden foot. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we want to try and avoid people with health issues straight off the bat. Uh, let's see what you're like. You do plants, animals. So we've got a lot of animals going on. You do crafting, which is probably good. Some mining and shooting. Uh, you got an artery blockage. I don't know if we should be taking you. Okay, let's see what let's see what we got down here with these guys. Uh, okay, but you've got ambrosia addiction. I don't think we want to take people with addiction straight off the bat. Right, let's do some randomizing. Okay, here we go. 44. No, not incapable of anything. You're a brawler and you're nimble. You're good with melee. Construction, you're good. So that's good off the bat. Mining, you can do. Plants and animals. Okay. Let's leave you for a bit, Narakas. Let's look at... Okay, you're incapable of firefighting. We kind of probably want people to do firefighting. Extra fire. We're <laughs> just saying. <laughs> <laughs> extra fire yeah well and, and in terms of extra fire here we need them to actually have extra fire fighting ability for later on so i kind of want to randomize you a bit i want to get someone who's happy to shoot a lot and happy to we need someone social and intellectual as well okay you've got a bite scar on your right leg shooting you you like that plants i think we've already got plants though with narakas yeah keep going for a little bit we don't want to spend too long in this we kind of want to get a good mix they're all sort of doing the one same thing here we want to get a good mix though don't want melee medical social that's probably not bad to get someone with social can't do any cooking though uh We'll leave you for a sec, because we might be able to get some cooking. We've got cooking here, but you've got an artery blockage. Okay, here we go. Incapable of social. That's the one thing we... Oh, no, you've got social. And if we look down here, we've got no one that can shoot. Mm. Okay, you'll shoot. If we can get a shooter that likes cooking, that'll be fan. If we can get a cook that's good at shooting, that'll be good. Um, okay, still no one can really shoot though, but you've got medical socials down a little bit. Asthma. It's, it's, you're never going to get the perfect person. It's about just finding someone that's capable of doing. Okay, but cooking's down. Oh, incapable of dumb lady binding, fire finding. Oh, no. Just give me someone with cooking and shooting, please. There we go. There we go. He's 59 years old. <laughs> Wang. <laughs> Wang. Uh, that's the payoff. You either get someone old and all the good stats or someone shooting. Construction. Not so good on the cooking. Oh, dear. 
And then you start to think to yourself, I should have probably taken old, mate. Here we go. We've got... Still not fantastic, but we've got an intellect. Fast learner. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Righto. Uh, I think once we get... Okay, we've got a good mix here by the look of it. But you've got a left... Oh, asthma. No health issues, please. Here we go. Surely this is alright. 42. Incapable of caring and social. Disables doctor. Right, I think we found our person here. Left leg bite scar, but I'm willing to take a bite scar. Okay, I think we're good here. We're going to take these people and just have at it. We don't have construction with you. We do with you. We're pretty much covered, I think, now with these guys. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see how we go. Let's just do it. Let's jump in the deep end and give it a go. Get into the fun stuff, finally. Okay, the three of you awaken your cr uh, crypto... What is it? Crypto. <laughs> Cryptocurrency. Um, sarcophagy. And the sound of sirens are ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Okay. Kaboom. That wasn't exactly earth shattering. Right, let's pause for a sec. Now we've got to kind of figure out where we're going to set up our base of attacks. Um, I'm thinking we want to avoid things like caverns and stuff for the moment. But we kind of want some protection of the mountain a little bit too. This looks like a good place in here to sort of set up. Uh, okay, what about the... This is how we check the fertility. Oh, we've got some good growing stuff around here. Uh, maybe we just do build in the middle of the map here and we can sort of build into the mountains a little bit either side We can use that to our advantage a touch um, And we can have the river which would be nice Okay, let's give this a go. So let's all of a sudden uh, we can go like this go architect we can go orders and we can go allow unforbid all things so that Doing that, right-clicking allow, unforbid all things, will basically the whole map tell everything on the map that we're allowed to take it. Now, if there's some nasty, creepy crawlies in caverns, and they're, which I can't really see there are, but if there is, you kind of don't want them, oh, like down here. We probably don't want to forbid stuff down here. So what I'll do, I'll leave it. They shouldn't come down here and get it. If they do, we'll keep an eye on them. Right, um, first things first, I think we're going to need a couple of things. We need to start establishing a bit of a uh, structure because we want to be able to have them be able to sleep indoors. Um, how are we going to do this? kind of want to utilize the, uh, like this area up in here might be good. Right, so if we just take that. Go to there. We'll do that, right? Okay. Orders, please. Let's do some mining. Get rid of that for me. Can I not get rid of that? Impossible mineable rock. I want to cancel that, please. Okay, we'll come to there. We'll use the impassable rock to our advantage. Right? Um, we'll leave a doorway section there. That'll actually that'll actually work out okay for us, actually. That's good. What it will do... So I'll dig some more of that out. Yeah, okay, that'll work. And then what we can do then... 
So we'll set them up in a bit of a bedroom here to start with. Seven by... Let's just keep them the same. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, okay, do that. And then doors, please. Right, we can go a door there and a door there. So that's good straight off. And then we can put doors in this way. Yeah, okay, we'll start off like that. Uh, then, what we want to do... Furniture, we want to get them some beds ready. So we'll put... Can we squeeze them in this room? Probably. We'll go one, two, three for the moment. Yeah, okay. Now we need a dumping zone. So we're gonna go stock, we're gonna start off with the stockpile. We're gonna put our stockpile in here, okay? And then we're gonna designate this storage. We don't want things like, it automatically takes chunks, plants, corpses out of it, which is fantastic. We also don't want to allow steel, because steel can just go in the dumping zone. And then we'll put a dumping zone like, um, we put it up around the corner here. Is that music too loud? Okay, so let's go like a dumping zone. Ah, uh, where do we want to put a dumping zone? Nah, it's all good. Thanks, mate. Uh, you're... Is that like, how do I say your name? Is it Sedge? Is that how you would say it? Spell how I would pronounce your name. It's I like because you've done a play on play on words and numbers there, haven't you? And I'm just too stupid to figure it out. Ah, S <laughs> six edge. Yeah, got it. Oh, I am too stupid to figure it out. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Okay, let's get rid of that and that. Oh, apologies for that. There you go. <laughs> then you're going to go seven. <laughs> oh, S6, S6, Edge 7. Yeah, fair enough. Nice. Okay, so once we got that up, I don't think we have to do anything in here. Oh, we'll, we'll allow steel in here. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, and then... Let's... Okay, so they should cart all this stuff up there. Uh, who's our... Let's just check our work here for a sec. Now, you can have it auto set like that. We can check the numbers. I like to... Um, I think the staple is to have everyone do this regardless. Bed rest. And we'll leave that on basic. So Lewis is going to be our warden. It kind of auto sets who can do stuff. I'll have one hunter for the moment. Your skill is 6.5. Yours is 3.5. Right, so we want uh, Jochum. Jochum? Jochum. I'm going to go Jochum. We want Jochum to take the rifle, please. And who's our next... Um, who's our next best shooter? Lex. Lex has got a 5 in shooting. Look, Lex can just equip the... Uh, the revolver. And Lewis, I guess you've got the knife there, buddy. Good luck. <laughs> okay, let's unpause and see how they get off on that. We've also got a dog with us, which is fantastic. Can we make... Um... I think you can... Needs training. Let's train him in hall. The animal will randomly haul stuff from time to time, though it can be directed to haul specific items. Bonded to Jochum, okay. Let's also give the dog a little bed. 
Um, and we got a, who's on mining? Okay, let's have you construct mostly. You can all haul like that. We'll have you on. Who's got the better plant? Your skill is 10 in planting and six. All right, you can be on two for that. And two for that. You're also mining. Everyone can do mining if they need to, though. They probably don't want to. Um, you're six, you're ten, you're ten. Okay, we'll put you... If you're going to be the miner, you kind of have to go to that. We can get your skill up, that's fine. Okay, you can just help out when you can help out. It's annoying that you don't want to do any of that, but that's okay because you're going to do hunt and construct. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's um, get our field set up then. Uh, it takes me a little bit to figure out what I'm going. Zones, that's what I want. Growing. We're going to grow rice to start with, I think. This is all stuff I've just sort of picked up watching others and trying to learn myself a little bit. So we've got fertile land over here. Okay, well, we may as well use it straight up, I think. Now, I also like to put... Um, so what I learned is with your power and you put a wind turbine out, that little zone, so the wind turbine, you can see where my mouse trigger is. You can see the actual shape of the turbine. In front of it, that big square in front of it and the big square below it are actually like, if there's trees in the way, it'll stop the wind. So you won't, the wind turbine won't actually work. But if you designate it either side, like farms either side of it, then it will always work. That's what I learned of a good little tip. So if I get the shape of my farm here, I'm going to go like half and half, basically. So we kind of want to go from there to there. Okay, let's have a go. So it was like, um, is it like a, is it six by seven? Let's have a look. Yeah, six by seven. Cool. So the other one must be like six by 10 or something, is it? Uh, I won't worry about it for the moment, but this here will, will make that um, rice plant. Rice plant, yeah, perfect. Okay. All right, so these guys are underway here. This is fantastic. Can we bump up the speed? Okay, I want to get these beds built before the first night. So if we can get these guys roofed in and bedded up, That'll be good. And if we kind of half build in the mountain bit and out, we might have a little bit more protection as well. I think it's a bit cooler in the mountain as well. It can be. Okay, so Lex is out here doing that. That's perfect. All right. So far. So far, so good. Uh, next, I want to just get... Um, some defense up. Security, that's it. Wooden barricade, thanks. We'll go like, um, um hmm. Yeah, we'll barricade with this at the moment, I think. We'll just use that. So if anyone comes from any angle, we're still sort of protected. Okay, cool. Yep. Let's put a work order in to cut some trees and stuff too, like all around here. And then we probably need to get... This is a storage room. Hmm. Make this like a bit of a social area. Uh, let's get some some recreation set up over here. Near the killing zone. We'll put it there. Okay. So we'll get a bit of wreck up for them. Can we farm anything? 
Yeah, um, how do you mean? Like, we can set up farms, absolutely. And we can also um, have chicken farms and other farms with other animals and stuff. 100% there's husbandry, all that sort of stuff. Yep. If that's what you mean. There's also, um, there's also a lot of traders that come in, so you can trade with a lot of people. And we'll also, as the game progresses, we'll be getting a lot of missions that we have to go and do as well around the world. Uh, and then eventually, I think we have to find, the main mission will be actually to find our way off the planet. So yeah, definitely lots of farming and stuff on here. It's basically, it's a, it's a legit colony survival game, building survival. Um, People that attack us or people that crash land in other cryopods, we can actually grab them and try and convert them to our group. That's how we increase our colony. Your, your little toons can, um, they can get, uh, they can get in couples and relationships with each other, married, that sort of stuff, divorced, then date someone else in the tribe. <laughs> it's got a lot to it. There's a massive modding community. 2000 iMac can handle. Uh, you'd be surprised. That might be able to play this game. Uh, it's not exactly stressful on the uh, on the system. I'm just having a look now. It's not exactly stressing my system out, and we're streaming as well at the same time. Right, so it's evening. Let's go. Let's bust through this. Now we'll get little little things that pop up. Uh, where can I get it? pop up down here on the side you'll see them when they pop up it'll go zhoo, ding and it'll be something to tell us something's going on so you want to pay attention down to this right hand side of the screen all right you're roofing in there and i don't really want you to but okay go for it just need one more bit of timber for there right so that farm's getting set up let's get these guys um hmm Get the floor i kind of want to remove wait this floor in here is that really do i want to kind of remove that floor what is that floor? uh i'll leave it for the moment we might actually just put in wood floor around there to Oh, it looks like it's all just stone. Okay, we'll just do that. Okay, wood floor everywhere, please. Uh, and then let's get a torch in there as well. And let's put the dog bed in. Animal sleeping spot. Okay, put that here. Perfect. Right, so they'll get cracking on that. What the heck was that? It's running Windows 11. Me, am I running Windows 11? You're running Windows 11, are you? Something just exploded in it, and I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't think that's a good thing. Right, so roost going on here. We need a bit of... You're running Windows 11. I'm not even running Windows 11. How are you finding it? Pretty good. Uh, okay, so they've got a light source and that'll make them a bit happier. We're eventually going to have to get them their own bedrooms too. What I want to set up in here is uh, we're going to set this up as a bit of a communal everything sort of building at the moment as well. So let's go production, uh, research, research. Okay, so that'll be the research bench. Give them a give them a torch as well. Until we can replace these torches, just put it in the middle of the room. And you can have a chair. I don't know if they need a chair. If it can play Minecraft, it should be able to play this game, definitely. Minecraft can actually be quite taxing, I would have thought. Right, how are we doing? 
We need to get our defensive structure built up, please, as well. Pleases and thank yous. Let's get some more timber cut, please. Uh, hmm. Has our stockpile built up here? Alright. We probably need to look, see if we can find where there's some compacted steel or ship chunks maybe might help us. Ah, there's one. Let's deconstruct that ship chunk. Are there any other ship chunks? Yeah, I don't know what the minimum requirements are. We can have a look what the minimum requirements are. Uh, system requirements. Windows 7. Core 2 Duo Processor. That's pretty low. 4 gig of RAM. That's pretty low. Uh, Intel HD Graphics 4000 or other shader model. Storage 1 gig. What did you say you were running? You meet the bare minimum. This is... This is the only. There is no maximum. This is just it. There is no... There is no more. That is the minimum, medium, and maximum. <laughs> Too funny. Right, how are we doing down here? <laughs> Your core two duo four gig and a raid on Yeah, that'll run it. I mean, don't forget, I'm running this in two K as well. You don't have to you can run it in ten eighty, fine. Uh, it's using 16% of my GPU at the moment. 24% of my memory, so that seems about right. Uh, I mean my CPU is about right. Yeah. Right, how are we doing here, peeps? Peeps on the streets. Oh, good, we're getting our barricades set up. We're going to need that soon. Right. Um, who's... Let's look at... Uh, research, please. Right. I want to get drug production underway, and I'll show you why. Because drug production leads to medicine production. We're going to need that. So let's research that before I start doing stuff over here because I probably want to get tree sowing at some point but if I can get drug production and then medicine production will be right okay then what we can start doing now let's go with um, if we can start getting some power in as well where did I say my little farm was here Right, so that can go in there when they get a chance. Then we can start getting some power in here. And I might, what I might do. Yeah, so what happens is if, you, if your people get injured, right? Uh, they have to go to bed. And then one of the other people in the colony will have to go get medical stuff. Like, so we got, we've got medical stuff right here, right? You can see up here, like we've got 30 meds at the moment. And they'll use a medical kit and they'll heal up and and uh, help fix up old mate while they're down. Now, if if it's a severe wound, like you get a limb shot off, then we have to at some point try and find, hey, who's this guy? Vengeful male warrior. Okay, who's our social person? Yeah. Oh, we've got a visitor. See, it tells us over here we've got a visitor. A vengeful hunter from the Trogo Alliance is visiting the colony. He is named Baboon Kurgo. He seems to have a few items to trade. Okay. Yeah, so you actually have to find them prosthetics. So you can trade for prosthetics, or if you kill someone with a prosthetic, you can actually take that prosthetic off that person you killed and put it on your put it on your your guy if he needs it. Uh, right, who's our social person? Alright, so Alexis is currently in the lead. Oh, okay. Lewis. 
Go and trade with old mate Baboon. Right. Packages of survival meals. We don't really need that. We've got 800 silver in our back pocket at the moment. Got no. Oh, we'll take the herbal medicine, buddy. You've just got one. So we'll take that. Yeah, that's it. I don't really know what is good to get early on at the moment or not, but yeah. Right, uh, I want. I was going. Let's go back to one here for a sec because I want to um structures. I want to kind of build like a kitchen area. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Uh, let's kind of build it this way then. What's the maximum size I can build? Okay, let's just go that. Can I dig that out? Yes. Okay, groovy. Uh, also, can we do this, please? Start squaring this area up. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. Okay, we'll get that order. Up. What is this, actually? Limestone. Ooh. Okay. What I'm after is some compacted that compacted machinery yeah we'll mine that okay mine that compacted machinery for us comes in handy what's this compacted steel yeah we'll take that we don't want to come too far down here i don't think though Okay, we'll see how that goes for a little bit. Um, now, in this room, I'll wait till they've dug that out and built it up, and then we can start. I want to put, like, um, we get, oh, we got power. Not very well, though. Let's get a uh, power conduit. So there, please. Straight up. Dad let go of a baby cow that he rescued because it can fly. But also because the parents kept on pecking him. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> I'm going to have a drink. Classic. Oh, crow. Did I? Oh, I read it wrong. I read it as cow. I was like, cow? Oh, okay. Well, that's actually sad then. Well, now that it's not cow, yeah, I read that wrong. Sorry. Oh. And they, the par were the parents really pecking it because it couldn't? So is, is that them trying to kill it off? Do you think because it's like it's deformed? Is that what they is that what they try and do? I just want to fix my camera here as well. Is that a thing? Uh, am I in the way? I'm kind of in the way a little bit, aren't I? Let's shrink myself down a touch, and I'll go um, here. Oh, it makes sense because um, if human touch gets on baby crows or whatever, or baby birds, don't the parents like disown it or something? 
Lex has got a minor break risk. Disturb sleep. Right, I need to start getting these guys their own bedrooms too. Okay. Let's work on that during the next day. The bird was just a baby. Yeah, well, that makes sense because I've heard of that before where... Oh, I'm so glad we cleared that up. I can't believe I said cow. How ridiculous am I? I'm having a blinder tonight. Um, they were protective. So when you say you had to let go... He let go of a baby crow. Is that is that he let go like as in he had to kill it off or he just let it go? Because they were pecking... He grabbed it and then he had to let it go because they were trying to... Were they trying to like peck him? Yeah, their parents were trying to get him. Yeah, that makes sense. I bet, yeah, they were just being really protective of it. Yeah, that makes a heap of sense. Yeah, so what happened is, um... MGL... His dad, uh, grabbed a baby crow... That he was rescuing, but the parents didn't like it, so they started having a go at, at his dad. So he had to let it go. They were just being really protective of it. Right, let's uh, order up uh, standing lamps now, please. Get them here and here. Yeah, they wanted their bub back. Makes sense. Yeah, that would have stressed them out a little bit. Uh, what? What? Uh, what was he? What was wrong with the baby crow in the first place? What did they need rescuing from? Right, uh, so we've got that and that. I'm surprised we haven't had some sort of an attack yet. Can we get... What I might do... I might take a quick bio break. We're only bloody 40 minutes in and I need to have a bio break. Um, okay, I'm gonna have a bio break. Alright, what did I miss? Anyway, 
anyone die yet? No, we're building though. Uh, it was found at 5.03 on Sunday. PM. 5 PM. It sounds like a cold case. At 5.03 PM, Sunday the 25th, a crow was found in Dad's hands. And then in the background you can hear that, that typewriter music, or that noise. Witnesses say the crow's attacked. Okay, I need you guys to dig that up. Uh-oh, mad hair, mad hair. Run, Lewis. Oh, Lewis, where are you, buddy? Right, let's get everyone drafted, please. Up here, Lewis, you make a run for it. Go. Oh, Lewis has got the stabby stabby. You need to run for it, Lewis. Let's go. Our first attack. We had a pigeon that had fallen from the nest uh, way too young and really cold nights. It was not for... It was not a survived despite the parents' bird there. Had to take it to Australia Zoo. Yeah, get that hair, but don't hit Lewis. Don't shoot Lewis. No! They shot Lewis. Lewis. Oh, he's only got... Okay, good. He's only got bites from the, uh... From the hair. He should recover from that, but we'll see. Okay, undraft. Now, what you'll see here is... Lewis will go to bed. And someone will tend to his, uh, medical needs. Now, also... I'm gonna, uh, allow that hair because... We wanna start doing some butchering and getting some food production ready. Uh, hmm. How do we wanna do that? I wanna... Just pause for a sec. I'm gonna need to concentrate just quickly to get this up and running. Okay, so I want that there like that. You fed the pigeons at the park today? Aren't there like uh, special breeds of pigeons and stuff that people have that are like really expensive and everything? Okay, uh, to start off with, I need a butchering table. Okay, just get me one of those. Uh, how do I want to do that? Yeah, may as well do it here. Give me the um, fuel stove first. Okay, and the butcher table can go. Yeah. Okay. Then. Okay, I need another work order for some more mining. Because we want to take... I want to do this. Okay, and then, uh, and then we're going to do, actually, I want to deconstruct that. Yep, that should be alright. And then production, I want to see how big our nutrient paste machine is. So, we probably don't need to deconstruct all of those. Okay, let's see how that goes for a bit. And then we can put in some work orders for food and stuff. Pigeon with the typewriter chipping away. <laughs> Is that... <laughs> that just gave me a funny thought. Of a pigeon at a typewriter going... <coughs> with its beak. Uh, okay. I need you guys to hurry, and then we need to work on your guys' rooms. Okay, everyone's asleep. Good. Let's go. Let's get them Zeds. Lewis is out cold still, remember? So he's... He's getting his needs tended to. Okay, he's not too bad. 
Not too bad. I'm gonna sneeze. One sec. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. These evening streams have got me sneezing. How do we feel about the evening stream so far anyway? Do we prefer this over the morning ones? Those are the Dutch breed, you reckon, of pigeons? I know nothing about bird breeds and stuff. What everyone, what would you have for dinner tonight? I had chicken wings. Ooh, I love chicken wings. Like buffalo wings, I guess, if people overseas want to hear that. But yeah, ooh, yeah, I love chicken wings. Okay, is Lewis back up and running? Excellent. This is a good little chilled game to play as well. I am messes with my with my getting stuff done. Yeah, fair enough. I'm doing this just for you, MGL, by the way. Alright, so since it took since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Lewis thinks that you should give the faction a name. What should we call our faction? Um, night chat. Nighttime chat, should we? Curry chicken? Oh, is that what you had for dinner? <laughs> That's not what we're gonna call our faction. You know what? No, we're not. <laughs> I was gonna call it curry chicken. <laughs> Uh, we'll call it, um, Cozy Streamers, because that's what we're doing. Uh, Lewis also thinks that you should give his settlement a name. Oh, God, I'm glad you didn't write that. Oh, I'm glad you didn't say that. Um, what can we call our settlement? Uh, beginner's luck, maybe. Hey, Google. Give me a random name. Okay, that's not really helpful. You want a co close maneuver? How about we call it Chats Heaven? Okay, welcome to Chats Heaven. <laughs> Where everybody should be welcome, except for people that want to kill us, they're not welcome. Right, um, I think not really helpful. Maybe we should have called it not really helpful. I need you guys to start working in here, but in the meantime, we can get the production of our nutrient paste machine in. Right. It's going to sit like that. Really? An iPod Nano 6? Did it, does it still work? Gosh, I haven't seen an iPod in a long time. Wow. An iPod. Uh, let's get that in there. We don't have much power going on at the moment. Hmm. Definitely should be hooked up. Go, let's get this sleeping done people. We've got stuff to do. Uh, we're not getting enough power. Oh, oh it's because there's a tree in the way. Right, get... Here's the thing. Uh, let's get zones. I think it's that big, is it? Oh, it's 
bit smaller. Okay, and it needs to go. Wait. We need to fix the zone. So that should be it like that. Perfect. Okay, cool. And what are we growing in there? Potatoes. We'll leave that as potatoes. Why not? We'll get a mix of foods. Uh, we're not... Because once they get that tree down... Yeah, that's working now. Okay. No, we still got to get that one down, have we? Let's also get everything around here hauled away, please. Hold it. Okay, cool. Right, uh, can we get that hauled away too, please? Medicine? Medicine people? I'm sinking in my chair. Rice. We're growing rice down here, which is now being produced. And uh, the perfect thing is now that we've got a dispenser here as well. Where's our... We need a light in here. Uh-oh. Pause. Uh, okay, what's going on here? Cargo pods? You have detected a cluster of cargo pods. Okay, jump to those locations. Oh, okay, we're definitely going to need that stuff. Allow. Um, and haul. Okay, we'll haul those. But, but, here we go. A group of tribes people f um, from the Gora kinship have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack. Prepare your defenses or attack them preemptively. The chat's wonky. It's getting to me way too slow. It shouldn't be. It's on, um, it's on low. I'm just probably not reading it as quick. But let me have a look. It should be on low, low latency mode. Uh, it will have a slight delay in it. Purely because it's hard for the... It just has to. That's just how it is. Uh, it will have a slight delay. But it shouldn't be too, too bad. Yeah, I'm going to say type a one in chat. And when I say go, then you... <laughs> then you type a one, okay? So, go. Thirteen seconds. Um, it should be on low latency mode. Generally, on normal latency, it's twenty to twenty-five seconds. Let me just check for you. Do 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 do. It's on low latency. Yeah, it is. I, I can go on ultra low, but you generally wouldn't run ultra low while you run... Uh, not unless you've got a, a mega NASA rig, which I don't have a mega NASA rig. Um, we can give it a go if you want, but... We can try that for the next cozy stream. We can try ultra low... res if you want. Okay, where are these guys first? Jump to location. Okay. It's just one guy with the club. I feel like we can handle this. Um, if I get you guys, let's go down and meet him on the battlefield. All right, get you guys to here. Let's get you guys to there. Go. We will meet you in the. Meet you on the battlefield. All right, guys, just to here. Oh, close. Try like there. No, nope, you're way off. Here you go. Keep some distance.
Come on, guys. Get this. Get this fella. Can someone shoot him? You're like point blank. <laughs> this is the worst display of shooting I've seen in a long time. Alright, see if he comes back. Oh, that's a good shot. Hey, and another one bites the dust. Ta -da -da. Okay, undraft. Also, let's check this guy out now. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take your club. Let's check you out. First of all, your bio. He's dumb labor he's able and capable of and firefighting. Okay, he's got crafting. Uh, melee. Oh, he's in pretty, he's in, he's in a pretty bad way. I think we're just going to leave him. And what we might do. What we might do. Is set up a, uh, hang on, what's going on here? There's a way here. I think there's like some graves. Stones is there? Maybe miscellaneous. Here we go. Grave. We'll put some graves down here, I think. Where will we put the graves? Okay, this will be a grave site. Alright, let's go. Uh, we've probably got a couple of injured people as well. Yeah, Lewis is down again. Lewis has got a bruised left leg from a club. <laughs> you, you'll be right, Lewis. You, you'll be right, buddy. You can. I feel like you can work with that bruised right leg. Uh, Lex, on the other hand, I think she also has, she's got a bruised head. She took a beating with the club to the head. Okay, that leaves, uh, Jockham to do the healing. It runs good. Who's this? Psychic drone. Is that what this is? Elite servant. Who is this person? Cult child. Childhood. Wow. Alita was born into a powerful cult which shunned advanced technology and believed that all illnesses could be cured by cleansing the soul through um, sacred art. Yeah, right. After her first glimpse of the outside world, she decided to run away. <laughs> uh, she's like, I'm out of here. Uh, are we still there, guys? Uh, is the chat working all right, or is it not? Have I broken something? Did I break something by going to check out that low latency? Just let me know if it's still good. I think it's all right. Okay, it's just my chat on my screen that I'm having trouble with. I'll just refresh chat here. There we go. Oh, thanks, um, Six Edge. I'm going to say, I'm just going to call you Sedgy. Sedge, I'll call you Sedge, but yeah. Yeah, I'm getting it now. I had to refresh the chat. Yeah, thanks for joining us, mate. We'll see you next time out. You can catch the rest of the live stream later anyway. Uh, and there'll be a new, uh, there'll be another video up. I think the farming sim video is going to be out in a few hours, by the way. Oh, I love that soda stream stuff. It's, all it is is just sparkling water. All right. Poor Jockham's got to do everything at the moment. And that's not getting enough power, is it? Uh, hmm. Can we cut the stuff out of there, please? Oh, 
All right, excellent. Lex is back to work. How you doing? Has your bruised head healed up? Yeah, I would have thought so. It was just a scratch. Said just gone. All right, what's in there? What have we got in there? Berries. Very good. Why are we not getting any power? Hmm. Odd. Right, let's set a build here to butcher. Do forever anything, okay? And same goes here. Let's set a build to add build, cook simple meals, do forever. Just for the moment, right? So we can get just a mix of things going on. Now we have to get this refrigerator as well. Yeah, power is really struggling. Um, after you've researched what you're researching, Yeah, okay. We're gonna need to get you working on some power stuff as well, so I can get some solar power potentially or something else. Who else is in here? I don't know. It's quite it's quiet tonight, isn't it? Normally during the morning, even this morning was kind of quiet, uh, com comparatively to the before. Coffee and rock cake, yum! Making me hungry. Always, you guys are always talking about food. Right, uh, next thing we want to do is go a cooler because we want to turn this into a bit of a refrigerator. Can I spin you there? That's it. So we want the red side out and the blue side in. Let's just put you there. And then we can set the temperature for that, I think, too. Also, can we do... Orders, smooth surface. Okay, we'll just smooth that for a moment. Uh, smooth surface too. Right, uh, we can start setting up some bedroom stuff in here as well now, I think. Right, uh, so how big are we going to make these bedrooms? What's that? So let's go. I uh, don't know if that's going to be a big enough bedroom. Uh, orders. Plan. So they're four wide in there. Can I cancel that order, please? Remove that order. Uh, so that means I need to do more mining in here. I need to go like... There. Okay. And then we'll put a door here for you. And there, and there. Okay. Let's go with that. And then we'll smooth these edges all along there. So they're a bit nicer. Coffee and rock cake. Yeah, I want that. I think we're going to do this more often um, now, MGL. We're going to be doing this evening stream more during the weeks. And then I can still produce my daily content uh, when I can during the day. <laughs> the videos. So it's a good sort of compromise. And we just have to try and get everyone on board with it, <laughs> I think. Right. Uh, oh, this is in too. So, uh, currently it's at 21 degrees. Uh, you think that's good news or you're about to tell me some good news or... It is good news, I think. So, 21, we want to go... We want to go to at least minus one in here because we want to keep stuff refrigerated. And now we want to set a bit of a um, zone. Let's go like that. Let's deconstruct that. Okay. 
seconds. Okay, that can go there. That'll be good. And then in this zone, we're just going to make this food. So clear all and only have foods. So we don't need hay, kibble. Uh, we'll leave the rest. Yeah, it is good. I think so. It, it'll it'll just it'll be able to increase how much we can hang out together and still get some other stuff going. And this power is just not enough, I don't think. Have we still got? We don't have any trees around, do we? No, it's all clear. Just not producing enough wind, I don't think. Uh, we could get. Wood fire generator going. We don't have the ability to have batteries. Uh, wood fire generator. We could just pop one up here, I guess. Or one in a room like here. So. Let's say we want to put a wood fire generator in here. In this little room area. Okay. Yeah, it's early AM. Early AM should be okay though. I'm a because they got a lot more people that probably don't work as much either, and they got a bigger population. Uh, but it's for the UK people as well, I think, because otherwise, in the morning when we stream, it's like it's like 1 AM to 5 AM them so you know it makes it really hard for them yeah yeah so basically between eight and nine o'clock it's kind of like i think i think especially on the westy shorter coast if it's about nine to nine thirty here it would be like eight eight thirty in the morning over there or there or thereabouts Tonight's sort of the test tonight anyway to see how we'd go. Pretty quiet, but maybe just people hadn't had enough time because I only put it up this morning after our last stream, so maybe it wasn't enough time to let people know. Maybe people are just busy and they haven't cottoned on. We'll just we'll keep doing it. It'll hopefully build up. Maybe the fact that I might need to start streaming on YouTube and Twitch as well together, which I don't know. I've got to figure out how to do that. I don't know if that's a thing, but... I know it's a thing, but... I don't know if it's a thing for me. Right, uh, ooh, we can finish off this. Right, let's get some bedrooms set up. This one here looks bigger. One, two, three. One, two, three. No, it's not. One, two, three. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let's get some floors in. Right, um, let's smooth the walls if we can. Uh, what else? Then we want to get beds put in. Then we'll get them a dresser. Um, we'll get them a side table. Do we have that? Yeah, end table. That's what we want. End tables. Uh, what else can we get? Um, probably something like a cooler. Temperature. Passive cooler. That's what we want. Okay, passive cooler can go in that corner each. Uh, let's see how that goes for a bit. Might need to put an order in to cut some stuff. Cut me some trees, please. already got a heat ordered up I think too all right I think things are going not too bad at the moment is that the dog 
Is the dog transporting stuff? No. That's what it was then. The dog gonna do some research? No. Right, you're... Oh, it's on. Okay. It's just we don't have enough power all the time. We've got a heat wave coming in. Okay. Every female colonist feels a wave of anxiety and anger. Some distant engine of hatred is stirring. It's uh, projecting a psychic drone onto the site. Great. Only for a few days. And a heat wave coming. Heat waves can induce deadly heat stroke. Stay cool by building either passive or electric cooler. Or by getting deep underground where the rocks are naturally cool. Well, we've started putting... Oh, look at this. All right, well, we can deconstruct that, please. We've already got these bedrooms up and running. We just need to get the passive coolers in. This one's got one. Okay, and we can deconstruct that one. How's this quality? Good quality. Good quality. Passive cooler. All right, so these two have got passive coolers. We can deconstruct that one now. Oh, fantastic. That means they should all have their own bedroom now. So who does the dog belong to? Did I say uh, Lex? Uh, Husky Advance. Uh, Master is Jokum. Oh, Bonded to Jokum. Okay, so we have to see which... We could assign. How do you assign? Set owner. Chuck him. Okay. So that means that. Furniture. We can put a sleeping spot in here. Cool. Let's chuck him. All right, and this one can be Lex, and this one can be Lewis. Gravy. I don't know if their bedrooms are big enough, good enough, or whatever, but that's what they're getting to start off with. Later on, we can do, we can make them bigger, whatever. Okay. Right. How are we doing in here? Food temp temperature should be what? In this room. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we got some food being made, so that's really good. And they've started smoothing off. Oh, good. Okay, we can put our... Power. Let's put our wood... Wood-fired generator in here. Hopefully that works. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm hoping it's a thing. I don't think we could have just come straight from there, no. Let's see, hopefully that's a thing. Okay, it looks like it's going to help. So what we'll also do is... um. Hey, I think it's running, is it? Hurrah! I think... Well, set some uh, wildlife killing orders. Let's kill rats and hare. Let's kill the hare. Any rats? Raccoons. No rats. Major break. What's happening? What are you doing down there? Oh, disturb sleep. Eight without a table. Ooh, okay, and heat stroke. Right. First things first, let's get you guys a table. We can make this like a dining room area now, I think. Let's just put a uh, one by two. Do a table like this. 
Okay. Somewhere for them to eat, I guess. Let's put a passive cooler in. Put one in here as well. Actually, we can put some vents in. Like that. Put another passive cooler there. Okay, see how that goes. We're also going to need to set up kind of like a prison medical bay. There we are. We want to run that. Maybe up in here. We'll make it like a one, two, three. Is that a four by four then? Once. No, it's a five by five. Yeah, that'll be big enough. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, we'll make it with a steel door. All right, let's also get all this rock out of here, please. All right, so Jockman's building the table stuff. So we don't want people breaking and losing their nut and then killing someone or going off on a tantrum or... Yeah, we don't want that. Not this early on. But what they should do now is uh, if we set a... We could set a doorway up into the kitchen area, but they should get food. And eat at the table. Set that up. And also, that can go. Right, okay, cool. How is that? We've got a wood heater and we've got the turbine and we're still lacking in power. God. I think, I feel like that's uninstall and then reinstall it like there. No, nah, that didn't help. <laughs> it shows how much I know. Oh dear. Right, these guys will want lights as well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, furniture. Is there like a little, it's just a little, is that a little sun lamp? Right, they can all have one like here. See how that goes. Right, everyone go to bed and become happy again. But that's our little colony so far. It's looking pretty good, I think. Have I missed anything? No. Let's see if there's any more ship chunks out and around the place to grab. Ship chunks are very handy, I think, for deconstructing and bringing back. They give us handy resources. What's that? Steel slag chunk? Oh, okay. Why have we not grabbed these things? Lewis? Pick up the medicine. And then we'll, oh, there's a ship chunk. Yep, we'll take that. Look at this nice big lake pond area. It's good to build in. Ah, oh, that's old mate who's there. Who? Oh, someone died down here from these. This is why we don't want people going down here. But allow that. And we'll allow that. And we'll allow that. Okay. Cool, cool. They can get buried in our graves. Right. All right. Well, things are going along not too bad. Ah, uh, we've got lights in here. This thing's got to go, I think. Deconstruct. Let's just build a standing lamp. I think what we had is a sun lamp, so that's why it wasn't really working. It's 
see how they're sitting down and eating at the table so it'll make them happier actually if we look at him now so we've got to get his needs down he's sweaty awful bedroom minor pain unsightly environment we've got some if we can get these walls shaped up we can um get their bedrooms looking a little bit better I don't know what else we need in there Lex is hiding in a room this happened because of poor mood the final straw was observed rotting corpse okay yeah okay soaking wet sweaty awful bedroom how do we make the bedroom better Lex, I don't know how to make your bedroom better. What can we get furniture-wise that will make you happier? Maybe a better bed, a bigger bed? Um, what a shelf. Items stored on this will not affect room beauty and they won't deteriorate. Okay. I don't know what we can give her. Also, who's on research? We might need to get start getting some research done, please. Uh, yeah, and then we'll get a bit of a cooler in this room as well. Get some vents in here. Okay. Yeah, bugger. Lex is gonna barricade herself in a room for a while. Don't know how to fix that. Toughen up, princess. Yeah, I know. Come on, Lex. It's not that bad. We've all got to start out somewhere. I don't know how long she's gonna be like that for. Oh, you can see it here. She's coming down. Just go to bed. Just sleep it off. You'll be fine in the morning. Right, we might need to get some more. Timber cut. Okay, that should they're or they've got a lot ordered up. Lex, do you want to go to bed? That'll make you happier. Go and get yeah, have something to eat and then go to bed. You'll be right. This is at a point uh, where I want to get, um, can we, what is that? Syringe. I don't know what that is. Mega Scarab. Wow. Okay. You don't want to come across them too quick. Looks like Lex is back in the mix of things soon. Sleep it off, Lex. Yeah, we want to kind of, we need some traders to come in. I think we can start doing some trading. Farm's going all right. I don't, we need someone to start on the research too. While we're in a bit of this lull, I think we'll get the research down to one. Let's jock him. So he should be right to do that. <laughs> we don't want you too happy. <laughs> Yeah, if we if you if you're always just a little bit unhappy, then uh, then that that'll just become the normal, won't it? Okay, Jockham's doing some research finally. Egg salad. Uh, is there anything else around here that we're missing? Maybe we should hunt a few more things, should we? Wildlife. Let's hunt gazelle. Let's hunt a couple of gazelle. All of the gazelle. Let's hunt the turkey. Make it happen. Uh, maybe we should not hunt all of the gazelle. Leave a couple. Definitely hunt the hares, the rat, the squirrel. Yep, hunt them all. Get them. Let's get... Looks like meat's on the menu again, boys. <laughs> was that, that was out of Lord of the Rings, wasn't it? Meat's back on the menu. Gross. They were eating orc. Mm. 
love the music in this game too. Right, what I want to do is start uh, getting a new area. See, we've got to get all this smoothened out too. Lex is up early. She's flipped, she's flipped the switch and she's doing some early work. Right, um, let's get a new order for digging in. Well, we're going to need to get some more bedrooms at some point. And then what we'll do is run like a hallway system. That. Yes, good, good. What we probably need to do is find some. Yeah, we'll dig all that out too. Okay. The cannon beasts are coming to raid us, are they? A group of pirates from the cannon beasts have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a wild and attack. Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. Is this like the attack we had before? It was just, they said that. A group where it was just one person <laughs> bab all right bab give me give me your best shot who's this bloke is that another cannon beast hey we'll take that uh we'll take that steel slag thanks all right maybe that's um maybe that's uh maybe there is a group of them right if i draft you guys and send you down here And then uh, put go. And then if I undraft, it should kick them off. Right, everyone get down here. See what happens when you come around the corner. Oh, take that. Where's the other, where's the other fella? Here he is, Bab. Now if I undraft them, I thought Bab would have come up. Right, you, you're just 17, oh man, S teenage space refugee, oh, what are you doing fighting? <sighs> really dislikes and distrusts men. Sappy is somewhat ugly. That's a, that's a bit mean. <laughs> wow. Minus one to beauty, but she can shoot. Kragis, she can shoot. Uh, doesn't like guys. If we had the spare room up, the prison. Oh, we kind of do. Right, we do have a prison room. We don't have anything built in it. So, okay, here we go. Furniture. Let's get a bed in there. Let's get a uh, end table, a uh, dresser I mean, and an end table. Let's get a light. What kind of floor can we put in here? Paved. Concrete tiles cheap but neutral in terms of looks. Okay, well, we'll go this one. Right. put in a passive cooler as well okay let's make that happen and then we can maybe set you're probably not going to make it i got to be honest whole body loss minor torso gunshot stomach right leg yeah look you'll be fine just sleep it off Meanwhile, Jockham's like, I'm just gonna... Ah, where's old mate? Is he still down here, still down here prepping? Or is he on his way up? Oh, Bab, there he is. He's coming to get Lewis, right. Draft. Everyone come out here. Go. Let's get to shooting. Lewis is really taking the brunt of this. Keep going. You guys can get there before Bab. Bab is looking a bit slow. You guys get in there. Barricade yourselves.
Come on. You can hit him. There we go. There's a shot. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Right. Let's check, uh, let's check the health out. Uh, okay. Spine, crack knife, cut left, left lung, cut. How do you have a, wow. Okay. Lewis handling his knife randomly, viciously slashed Bab in the left clavicle. Good job, Lewis. Stop with the luxury. It's a prison cell. Yes, it's a prison cell. We're trying to convert them to join our crew, though. Uh, Sappy's not going to make it. We've decided that. I don't think... It's incapable of intellectual and artistic, but we've got someone who's intellectual anyway. But you are good at construction, mining, cooking... Child spy. Uh, look. Let's undraft everyone, firstly. Are oh, they undrafted? Let's, um. We can't do anything anyway because the room's not ready. So it looks like it's, uh, strip, uh, survivor we could capture her but we're not going to and then we'll take your clothes your clothes are ours right uh we'll get someone we'll get someone who's better we want the pe right people for our place we might get a drop pod soon oh speaking of oh no that was then an apocalypse survivor named sappy Is from your enemy tribe, the cannon beast. Okay, that was Sappy. Uh, too bad, Sappy. You uh, you had the wrong tribe. You joined the wrong tribe. I've got to be honest. Right. Can uh, Lewis is in bed again? Can you come and strip old mate, please? And we don't want to consume people. You guys will have to be buried. Okay, that's fine. They'll be buried. Okay, and then, uh, Jockham, there's no construction happening. Mad alpaca. Crikeys. Everyone get up, get out of bed. We've got a mad alpaca. Go, 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 go. You can get there, get there, get there before the Outbacker comes. When Outbackers attack. That is one bloody tough Outbacker. Oh man, now it. Lex is in a bad way. She's got a bruised leg. <laughs> Lewis. Lewis has got a bite from Alpaca, a bruised club, and a bite. Yeah. Okay, Lewis. Lewis is in worse, con worse condition. Okay, Lex. So when you think you got it bad, you don't. Okay? Lewis has got a bite. And Jockham's just like, you know what? I'm staying up. I'm, I'm studying. Good job, Lewis. You're in worse condition than Lex, but you still got up to go and look after her. True gentleman. Who's going to look after Lewis? There's blood everywhere. We do need extra hands here so we can get some cleaning going on. Oh, he went and got Lex a meal. She's okay again now. She'll be unhappy because she's just seen a dead body too, I think. Oh, no, she's playing coits. But, oh, she got one. She hit a tree. Right. All right. 
We've got rice in the field that needs to be grabbed. Good job, Lex. Where's Lewis? Lewis is, uh... Lewis is okay. He's going to be fine. Blood loss. Ooh, moderate, though. That'll be right. You can build your blood. Just keep eating food. You'll be fine, Lewis. Okay, Jockham research is still going, but we need Jockham to start doing some more work again, please. They can go back to a two. Uh, ship chunk hunt. Also, we might need to order up some uh, compact steel mining somewhere, somehow. Somewhere, somehow. Yeah, this is, looks like a place we want to kind of avoid down here, although... What is that? Mega spider. It's dead. All of this stuff's dead. Who's come in here and killed all this? What is that? A glow pod. Yeah, I think we'll leave that. What are these things? Ambroisa sprout. What do they do? Rare wild bush which yields an ambrosia fruit. Ambrosia fruit is delicious and produces a drug-like mood boost. I mean, we'll get it, but I don't think we really want them. I don't think we really want them uh, getting on drugs, do we? What are these? Wild heel root. Okay, that's cool. We want wild heel root, surely. So we'll take those. Oh, no, we want to harvest them. Okay, we'll do that. Harvest of the heel root. Okay, Lewis is on it. Lewis is back up and around. He's back up and kicking around town. That's good. Uh, what else? Can, I'm looking for compacted machine parts that we can start. That's limestone. This is all limestone. Can we get... Um, Old love uh, buried. Marble. Compacted steel. Okay, there it was. Ah, this is all compacted steel down here. Our zone must be pretty full. Okay, it is. Right, what we might need to start doing as well, even though we don't have the production, we can just set up a regular crafting spot, I think. And what else? It's a regular crafting spot. Maybe we'll get them some more recreation too. Okay. You want, probably want to clean the blood off the floor, I would think. <laughs> Alright, we've got some heal stuff in there, so that's good. Right, this is all coming up now. And then architect orders. Make it happen. All right. Okay. Lex, come on. Bedtime. And you get. Right. This whole way through here is not very nice, is it? Cargo pods. Okay. Where is this cargo pod? Oh, look at all this cool looking stuff. Okay, we'll allow that. Uh, we'll also... All that, please. 
Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Okay. Oh, that's just around the corner. Perfect. What is that? Is that um compacted machinery? We will take that. Okay, we got a lot of orders on here. We'll take that too, thanks. What's that? Is that uh, Jade? Ooh, nice. Right, and we got uh, ooh, more machinery stuff in there. So that's our hallway. Excellent. Then. Structures. Okay, I, I, it's hard to figure out where the buttons are sometimes. Oh, we're going to need to dig that out. Right. That's a lot of work for these three people. They've done pretty well with that. They've done pretty well with that indeed. And that's it for me tonight, MGL. I think that's a good start, a good taster for evening cozy stream. Just a two hour one, thereabouts, just shy of. But I think we'll definitely do this again tomorrow night. Give it another, we'll just keep doing it on and off. I mean, during the week and we'll just start building it up, I think. What do you think? I think that's a good start to our little, uh, our little um, gang in here as well. We've got quite an eclectic group in here, but, uh, oh. There's an eclipse on. One of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun. An eclipse has begun. And just like that, we're going to eclipse out of here until tomorrow evening. So stay tuned on YouTube. Evenings, 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And it will convert to your time anyway, wherever you are around the world. Thanks for joining me, MGL. Thanks, Sedge. Thanks, uh, or six, I like to say Sedge, but it's the Six Edge and everyone else who lurked in the background. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time, tomorrow night, for some more RimWorld and Cozy Stream. Thanks for joining me. Stay safe wherever you are. Stay glued to your screen.